a new day. It is a new day. Let's sing about it. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Save us. You came from Wow, we're a little rusty this morning. We're rusty. That's all right. Most every morning. That's all right. Maybe you guys can keep singing that song today and improve on it. I hope you do. Have you ever seen pigs fly? Only bread. Okay, the there's one a bread pigs, company yep. in Maine called yep. When Pigs Fly. Oh, they make yummy bread. They do? Have you ever seen dogs fly? Um. <laughs> Puppies, <laughs> you're throwing them. Sounds like Cheddar got something caught in his throat, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cows can jump over the moon, I hear. I've never seen a cow jump over the moon. I've seen them jump over fences. I have seen them get stuck halfway between one side of the fence and the other side of the fence. Oh yes, that happens from time to time. All the stuff is happening here at the farm. Yeah. Oh, Aaron's looking for Ziva. Aaron's looking for Ziva. Anyway, so, um... All the stuff. Oh, there she goes. Wet dog. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's our reading about today? It is about flying foxes. The flying, flying foxes? Flo you know, flying Abby, flocks. Abby and Brandon flying went fox. to Belize for part of their honeymoon, and they saw flying foxes. Oh. They're kind of like dogs, right? Hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. Proverbs 1, 4. 4, 1. Just a little bit of dyslexia. Oopies, 4, 1. Proverbs 4, 1. <laughs> <laughs> we are not on top of our game today, guys. Many young animals receive instruction from their parents as human children do. Think, for example, of the flying fox of Australia. With a wing spread of about four feet, the fox presents a truly frightening spectacle to the uninitiated observer. It is the world's largest bat, but its head looks a very much bat. like a fox, hence its name. It feeds on fruit, so is not in danger to man, a danger to man or animals in spite of its appearance. It doesn't eat people? No. When it's flying, the biggest flying dog? No. Flying foxes live in what are called camps, with perhaps 10,000 foxes making up a single camp. 10, That's a thousand lot. 10,000 flying dogs with wingspans like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each Yeehaw. animal male has a territory in the camp, and when he comes home from feeding, he lands upside down, uttering a territorial cry to let all know that he is master of that particular tree limb or palm frond. He will, he will allow close neighbors to crawl through his territory on the way to theirs, but strange males are viciously driven away. The males allow only their mates and young to remain in their territory. Eventually, even the young are driven out to join the other youngsters in the center of the camp. Huh. They keep the young in the middle. Each camp is surrounded by a network of guards who, having no territory to defend, station themselves strategically so as to provide an early warning system for approaching danger. The most serious danger comes from two reptiles, a large snake called the carpet python and the six-foot lace monitor lizard. When the guards give the alarm call, the otherwise noisy camp instantly becomes silent and the foxes either watch till the danger is past or take wing in one giant fluttering mass and circle overhead till it is safe to land again. Hmm. The young live together in the center of the camp where they practice being grown up. 
They learn the art of territorial defense and in their mock fighting often get too rough. When this happens, the adult males quickly move in and separate the warring youngsters before they hurt one another. Does that sound familiar? It does. Scientists who have studied these bats state that the adult males act as instructors, teaching the young the laws of their society. Wow, we need some flying instructors to teach us the laws of society. Oh, you like that idea, don't you? I do. Fly over to where children are quarreling and, and say, say, break that up. Stop, don't do that. Be good to each other. I hope you guys are good to each other today. Be good to your mothers too. And your dads, and your brothers, and your sisters, and your friends. And your enemies. You wanna pray? Sure, I'll pray. Our Lord in heaven, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being our God. We thank you for all these lessons we learned from nature. And we're thankful that flying foxes eat fruit, not people. We love you. Amen. Amen. And we're glad that we don't live where the six-foot lace lizard lives. Yeah. I don't want to live with a six-foot lace lizard. They Wouldn't mind dogs. seeing it maybe once, but I don't want to live by it. Yeehaw. Woo. 10,000 flying foxes in one spot. 10,000 flying foxes. That sounds foxes. terrifying. Sounds like a tongue twister. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Bye. Love you guys.